Hi, my name is Stu and welcome to my video. I'm an alcoholic. I uh, drank for over 20 years, um, maybe even closer to 25. It's hard to believe when you say it out loud like that. Um, you wonder where the time went. Um, well, I know where it went, um, down a bottle. Um, I'm 38 now and the first time I got drunk I was 10 years old. Um, here's a picture of me back when I was an alcoholic about seven or eight years ago. Um, man, even my hair is greasy. So not too attractive. You can see the damaging effects of, of alcohol on the body. Um, but I believe that I could change. And I and you know and the first supplement that I that I you know tried that made me believe there was hope was niacin. And I remember when I tried it, um, I'd been on a bender for about three or four days. It's kind of hazy, honestly. Um, I can't remember exactly. I had, you know, been in my apartment, shut away from friends and family in the sunlight, and I just got a handle of uh, rum, huge bottle of cheap rum, and I would just drink and listen to sad music and think about ex-girlfriends and all the productive stuff that alcoholics tend to do. Um, and I would just pass out wherever I passed out and wake up whether it be on the uh, bathroom floor or the couch, <clears throat> you know, every every morning was a new surprise, um, and I would just start drinking again. And uh, on the last day, when I ran out of, woke up and I saw my bottle was empty. I just, I was so dehydrated. Like it was, I can't describe to you almost how dehydrated I was. My lips were so cracked and bloody. There was blood just caked in my nostrils. Um, and I felt this trickling in my ear. I, felt, I thought it was like earwax. And uh, I got a Q-tip and it was just caked with blood. I mean, I was literally bleeding out of my ears. Um, and I remember thinking, man, I've got to do something. You know, this can't keep going on. And uh, so I, I kept researching and I came across niacin. Uh, and I went and picked up a bottle after work one day and came home and tried it and within just a few minutes my whole body was blood red I mean just bright red, as bright as this shirt um, and within 10 minutes I was asleep I didn't even get out of my work clothes I had my tie on and I just crawled into bed and just covered up in blankets and slept like a baby and subsequently I did research on the effects that that was having on me because it was so profound um, the first thing I found was it work. It, it's a great for anxiety, which I know alcoholics are um, are prone to. Um, the reason that it is is because it works on the same receptors as Valium and Xanax and Klonopin and all those fun drugs that people like to abuse. Um, it's the benzodiazepine receptors, um, and so I thought that was very interesting. Another thing that I found out. Um, well, first of all, let me give you a prerequisite. You know, a little course. There's two kinds of niacin. There's nicotinic acid. It's the kind I like, the kind that I love and that I take. And then there's niacinamide. And niacinamide is the cheaper form. That is the form that is added to our foods, like our bread and our grains. And I believe it's because it's cheaper to add it to our food. And that's the reason they add it is because niacin we don't get, usually get a lot. And niacinamide does prevent the more obvious symptoms of niacin deficiency, like pellagra and things like that. But it does. the problem is your body with that form of niacin never realizes that it's got enough niacin. So it doesn't shut off the niacin pathway. So your body takes tryptophan, the amino acid found in turkey and stuff like that, you know, that makes you sleepy, and it makes niacin. And niacin makes serotonin. Well, if you're getting, and, and here's the thing, niacin production gets priority over serotonin production. So if you're only getting niacinamide, your body is constantly believing, I don't have enough niacin, and it's taking that very valuable tryptophan and redirecting it towards niacin production. And what suffers? Your serotonin levels suffer. That's why. You're, you're depressed. And that's why I believe there's a huge explosion. I've seen it in my lifetime. There's a huge explosion of mental illness. It just seems like it's much more prevalent. People on some sort of anti-depression medication. And I have, I have to believe that it's 
directly related to our diet. I have to believe that um, because of the profound impact that, that niacin had on my body and on my, my mind. And it's the first thing that gave me hope. An interesting side note, um, Bill W., who was the co-founder co of Alcoholics Anonymous, used to use niacin, um, it was kind of controversial, he used to use niacin to treat alcoholics um, for a long time, and he had quite a lot of success with it. Um, so I thought that was very interesting. But, like I said, it didn't happen overnight. N alcohol is a poison. There's no way around that. Alcohol is a poison on every single system of the human body. It it damages the liver, the heart, the kidneys, the pancreas, the skin, the eyes, the brain. Everything is hurt by alcohol. Everything. So logically, if alcohol and alcoholism is a physical disease, would it make sense that you have to cure the entire body? So that's where I was. I took niacin and it helped me, but I was still on a long road of research and discovery. And I'm kind of... I want to give something back, and I want to put this information out there and help other people, and that's why I'm doing these videos. So this is the first video that I'm going to do in a series on uh, on nutritional approach to alcoholism. Um, so I hope you've gotten something out of it, and if you have any questions or comments, I'd be happy to field those. So um, thank you very much.